any research, all research in science, especially clinical science, I mean in clinical science, when they say clinically proven, you hear that on television, and all that stuff, all research has to have better than a 30% effect because 30% is known as placebo. 30% of people will get better no matter what you give them just by getting, it's that pat on the back, it's telling them that what it is. That's a, that's a pretty hefty number. But the, in order for, in other words, when they say that this was found to be significantly better than this, what they mean is it had to have statistical significance above 30%. So that's a big number. That's what placebo means. And in, in the old days, it was called the sugar pill. You know, they gave, they gave two groups, one people the real pill, the, the pharmaceutical, the other one the sugar pill. And, the sugar, and they found that 30% of the people were getting better with the sugar pill. Well, the way it works is this. Healing is innate. It is the nature of nature. For example, you pull an apple from the tree, next year you have two apples. You pull the weeds up from the garden, you turn around their back. You slice your hand, it heals. That's the nature of nature, to regenerate, rejuvenate, and procreate. That's the nature of nature. That's what it will do. So, um, the only thing that blocks it are impediments. For example, what blocks water from running downhill is a dam. You remove the dam, it'll, it'll, it'll flow. Since we are psychological, spiritual, and physical, we have three parts to us, the mind can often block us, and our body listens to us. There was, a, there was this experiment in psychology where they showed people these metal rods in hot fires, and they were glowing hot. They blindfolded them and got, picked up the rods, put an ice cube on their hands, and their, 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 their hands went shh, they shriveled up as if they had burned. They hadn't burned. So the mind, it's very, very powerful. Fourth, it's the fourth pillar to our program. Number one, we teach you to stop making cancer. Number two, we target it, eliminate it without harming you. Number three, we get the immune system back up and working. You gotta bring in number four. Number four is you gotta know you're gonna make it. Now, how do you know you're gonna make it? Today, you're cutting an apple and you slice your finger. You don't believe it's gonna heal. You know it's gonna heal, okay? We don't, you only can believe in something that's not true. You can believe in Santa Claus, you can believe in tooth fairies. You don't believe in rocks and you don't believe in trees. You either know about rocks and trees or you don't, okay? So, and the same way you know that that hand is gonna heal, you need to know you're gonna heal. So anyway, I think what happens is when the mind knows that, it becomes a lens to focus the power of the spirit. I don't know how else to say it. I don't know if there are other words. It's definitely not science. You know, it, it, you can't fragment it and break it down to mo molecules. You know, although everything that happens in the physical world occurs molecularly. But what's driving them? We don't know. We don't know what's driving molecular function and enzymes. They're being driven. 100 trillion cells here are being functioning as a whole. I mean, that's miraculous, to say the least, you know.